Today we are rather used to the concept of defined borders, but as you might suspect, this hasn't always been the case. The modern definition of borders we have today stems from the Thirty Years' War, ending with the Peace of Westphalia in 1648, which states that states, no matter the size, has a clearly defined sphere of influence, its borders, and no one can influence activity inside those borders. This was an Age of Enlightenment concept, but how was it in the Middle Ages? So, first we will try to explain the most common border determination of the Medieval Age. Uh, and in the Medieval Age, feudalism was king uh, in Europe. And a basic explanation of uh, to this system is there is a king who needs to manage his demands but he can't manage it all, so he gives lands out to his followers in exchange for taxes and military services. These vassals would have a problem managing their new holdings, so they would give out land to their followers, and this continued down making this pyramid. But keeping this complicated system in mind, in 2012, Alexander Diener and Joshua Hagen published Borders, a very short introduction, in which they state, given this confusing structure, precise te territorial borders were not necessarily needed or helpful so long as taxes were collected, services rendered, and oaths fulfilled, especially in sparsely populated areas. So, to explain this concept, uh, we have the Blue King and Red King, which each of their demands. It wouldn't really matter if the Red King had troops in this area of the wasteland, as long as he didn't attack one of these towns, which would be a direct attack on the King's subjects, and would disrupt services these towns were obligated to render to the King, and vice versa. Therefore, the modern concept of borders would be irrelevant to these kings, as this would do not do them any harm and cost too many resources to control these borders. Uh, there were exceptions to this, of course, with exempts like Treaty of Tordesillas and the Treaty of Saragossa, which divided the non-Christian world between the Spanish and Portuguese crowns at defined longitudes which would set a, uh, a precise border-ish. Uh, though this was rather the exception than the rule, so the first uh, uh, explanation I gave would have been uh, the most common uh, border determination of the medieval age. Thank you for watching this video, and if you would like to learn more about history, I would be grateful if you considered uh, subscribing. Thank you.